Hello and welcome back to another EPC Teardown Guide. Today we'll be taking a look at the Dell Precision 7540. This is a high-end workstation PC with its own dedicated graphics card from 2019. It's straightforward, it's a little time consuming to disassemble, but today we're going to show you how. And all you'll need for this teardown is a single PH1 Phillips bit. Now let's get into it. All right, first thing, let's flip this over to the back side. We have these seven captured screws. All right, and the back can be pulled off just as easily as getting right into these small grooves and pulling it up. Before we forget, we'll go ahead and remove the SD card. Or in this case, just a little block. All right, now we just remove this battery. It's just these three large screws. And then you simply pull up on this ribbon cable here. And the battery just pulls away. Next up, we're going to remove the power connector from the board. It's just one screw here and a bracket and then a connector right here that pulls away. Now we're going to remove the Wi-Fi cables and then unfurl them from the case. It's just held on by this one captured screw. And then as usual, be careful when removing these cables. Try and pop them up directly off so they don't end up getting damaged. All right, now we're going to remove the keyboard on the other side. We're going to first start by removing these ribbon cables down here. And then this right angle one too, which we'll need for another step later. Now we're gonna flip it over. And open it up. We have to start by removing this shield around the outside of the keyboard. And this can simply be pulled away. There's nothing holding it down except a few small clips. The keyboard itself is being held down by six of these small screws. And then just be careful about these clips on either side. If you pull it away without first pulling it away, you'll end up breaking them. And then these cables are the ones we disconnected earlier and they should come right out. If not, you just have to be careful about these that they end up grabbing part of the inside of the case. Should be gentle with it. Next up is going to be this metal plate right here. While not strictly necessary, it does hide underneath of it. The extra two RAM modules, making four total. We continue forward, we're gonna just disconnect these two ribbon cables. Now we're going to begin the removal process for this entire palm rest. 
start off with on this side, we have these two small screws. Now we're going to flip it over. And on this side, we have these two smaller screws. And then we have 11 of the larger screws. Each one of them will be labeled P. And while I'm back here, I'm going to be removing these two silver screws labeled D. They'll be for the display later. Now we just flip it back over. And now as long as we've removed all the screws correctly, the palm rest should come right up. It's going to be pulled away from you. And if you're having difficulty, there's a symbol right here that just says push. You can use that to push the palm rest out if it's being difficult. Notice it, it pulls up, up and away from you. And that's the whole palm rest assembly. Now we're going to begin the process of removing the display itself. We're going to start by removing these brackets to the silver screws each. They're going to stay on the display for now. We also have to disconnect the display from the board. It's just this bracket right here, two small screws, and then this one cable. Much like the battery cable, the display cable is just pulled straight away. And this one pulls straight out. Now we're going to be removing two screws from the back of the case. And with that, the display should come straight out. Next up, we're going to be removing this daughter board that the power connector was connected to on the other side. It's just three small screws, each with its own arrow. And then it should pull straight up. Be careful of that connector. Next up is going to be removing the heat sink itself. Each of the screws is labeled. All 10 of them simply go in reverse order. These two are the only different ones. The rest of them, they're all captured.
And before trying to take the heat sink out, make sure you also disconnect the two fans. And the heat sink itself should now lift up and away. Before we go too much further, we're going to be removing this small shield holding on the USB-C connectors. It's just three small silver screws. And that comes off with no issue. Now we're going to be removing the GPU. This model has a dedicated GPU. We're going to start by removing the ribbon cable. It has a diagram right here for how to do it properly. There's these two black screws at the bottom. And then you can just remove three of the silver screws on the right. Now it looks like we're almost done, but unfortunately there's still one more step to go. And that's we have to remove the rim of the case itself before we can get the board itself out safely. So we'll start by disconnecting these ribbon cables here. We'll just pull this CMOS battery off and move it. Disconnecting the speaker cable. Taking off the power LED solder board down here. It's just one ribbon cable and one screw. And then we have seven of these screws around the edge of the case that need to be removed. Now all done correctly, the aluminum edge of the case itself should just pull away. Means I forgot one more thing, which are these two screws in the rear. And now after all that, we're finally able to get out the board itself, which is only held on by three of these small screws, all of which have an arrow pointing to them. And then the board itself should just lift away. This side has the USB-C inside the case, so pull away from the right side and lift up. And that's how you tear down a Precision 7540. Don't feel like doing a teardown yourself? Have not just one, but hundreds of devices taking up space? EPC is a global leader in the ITAD field, and it's our goal to reduce e-waste and give devices a second chance. Reach out to us today to learn more.